Good afternoon and welcome to the Southern Sports Network. I'm Megan Price. And I'm Slinky Jones. We are here to update you on the latest in moccasin sports. Florida Southern got a visit from ESPN's famous Dick Vitale last week. The Mocs hosted their annual Hall of Fame banquet among the attendees were previous Hall of Fame honorees, current and past moccasin student athletes and coaches, members of the Florida Southern College Board of Trustees, FSC President Dr. Ann Kerr, and other distinguished guests from the community. The five-member class included Pete Meyer for baseball, Jordan McAvee for volleyball, Matt Stouch for men's golf, Mary O'Sullivan for women's swimming, and David Jenkins for his contributions to the baseball team. Athletic Director Pete Meyer was awarded with a scholarship in his name. Last Wednesday, the Florida Southern men's lacrosse team hosted Palm Beach Atlantic for the first time ever. The Mocs jumped out to an early 3-0 lead just minutes into the game. The Mocs continued to stay strong, bringing a five-goal lead at halftime. The Mocs finished the second half of play by continuing their dominance and going on to win with a final score of 12-7. Lucas Claudie scored five of the Mocs' 12 goals, and junior Mike Greco made 13 saves on 20 shots to lead the team to their second straight victory. FSC softball took a hard defeat by St. Leo this week. The Lions brought their best to the plate given the three-game victory over the Mocs. The teams will be back in action at home this weekend with a game Friday night at 7 against Palm Beach Atlantic. The Florida Southern baseball team swept Embry-Riddle this past weekend. The Mocs outscored the Eagles in the three-game Sunshine State Conference Series 50-13. In Game 1, solid hitting from Cody Burgess and Hayden Mars carried the Mocs to a 26-4 win. In Game 2 and 3, Logan Browning helped the Mocs secure the win with 8 hits and 5 runs scored. The Mocs came out on top of Game 3 with a final score of 12-3. This series keeps the Mocs ranked 3rd in the nation for the 5th consecutive week. Men's track senior Bobby Ormsby set a new record for the Mocs in the 5,000 meter on Thursday. Ormsby finished 15th out of 41 competitors with a record time of 14 minutes and 37.76 seconds at the Pepsi Florida Relays held here at the Percy Beard Track. Ormsby shaved off over two seconds of the previous record held by his coach, Ben Martucci. Women's track had another great showing this weekend with freshman Addison Cantor setting the school record in the 5,000 meter relay. Cantor had a time of 17 minutes and 39 seconds to break her own school record she set earlier this year. She finished 20th out of 44 runners this weekend at the Pepsi Florida Relays hosted by the University of Florida. Cantor and the Mocs are back in action this weekend at the Embry-Riddle Spikes Classic in Daytona. The men's tennis team went into Easter weekend with two big wins. The Mocs faced off against Eckerd on Thursday, giving the team their first conference win. On Saturday, the Mocs took the courts again, defeating Florida Tech 7-2. The team will return this Thursday at home against Embry-Riddle. Women's tennis faced off three days in a row, ending with two wins and one loss on Thursday. The Mocs took the course to defeat Ecker 9-0. The Mocs then won on Friday against Palm Beach Atlantic, but lost to Barry on Saturday. The women's team will play again tomorrow at home against Embry-Riddle. Coming from a close game against Tampa last Tuesday, the Mocs brought their sticks to North Carolina. Women's lacrosse was offensively on fire as they defeated Mount Olive Friday afternoon 25-14. Emily Santoli and Mariana Josoko combined had 11 of the Mocs' 25 goals, leading the team into their 27th straight season win. The eSports Hearthstone team suffered a 1-3 loss last night against Principia. This puts them at 6-7 on the season so far as they enter their last regular season match tonight at 9 p.m. against the St. Louis College of Pharmacy. You can watch live on Florida Southern's Twitch stream. On Saturday, former FSC men's lacrosse goalkeeper Matt Lally received a spot on the 2018 training camp roster of the Florida launch of Major League Lacrosse. Lally finished his college career as the leader in Moxon saves, wins, and starts by a netminder. He is one of the 40 players to open the launch and the fourth former player from FSC to earn a spot on the MLL roster. Way to go, Matt Lally. For the first time in his career, senior men's lacrosse player Lucas Claude has been named the Sunshine State Conference Offensive Player of the Week. His total of 14 goals last week led the Moxins to a victory against Alabama Huntsville and Lynn. His 14 goals were also the most scored in the last seven days by any men's lacrosse student athlete in the SSC. That's so awesome about Lally being um, one of the players into the MLL. It is Oh, don't forget to follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. I'm Slinky Jones. And I'm Megan Price. We'll see you next week.